Hi, welcome to the Drupal 8 site building class. My name is Rod Martin, and yes, this is a Drupal hockey jersey. It's a Drupal 8 hockey jersey. How cool is that? I got it at DrupalCon Los Angeles. You'll be seeing this a little bit later as we work on our profiles, but I'm actually getting ahead of myself a little bit. So before we go any further, I want to say thank you to Glowhost, our partner and sponsor for these videos on YouTube. In this class, we're going to follow the seven steps you see on the screen. Plan, install, content, extend, layout, people, and manage. We're going to be building a site today that uses custom content types, custom blocks, custom displays, advanced views, advanced user profiles, we'll add a theme to it, and at the very end, we'll talk about caching and multilingual sites. The site we're building is all about the city of Sydney, and so we'll be adding hotels and landmarks around those hotels, creating, as I mentioned, some advanced views along the way to help our users see what we hope they want to see. Just a couple of things before we go on. Number one, you should have taken the Drupal 8 beginner class before this. We're not going to take the time to explain concepts in this course. We've already done that. So if you don't understand content types, taxonomy, how to add a module to a site, how to create a custom content type, I'd encourage you to take that beginner class first. Number two, this is a participatory class. We want you to build the site along with us. So in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna go over the planning steps that you need to take and we'll install Drupal. Don't skip those videos even if you've already got an environment set up. I'll be hitting on some pretty important concepts even in those first two videos. All right, I think we're ready to dive in. So because this is a site about Sydney, let's say, g'day, let's get at it. <laughs> 